pop off and then you had and then you were going you know because it was real conscious and then the gangster rap popped so they were kind of like caught in a weird place you know, where like being lyrical wasn't really like what people it's not were looking at right yeah. and then you have your kids like your J. Cole's and your Kendrick Lamar's, right, your like right Soul's, now. your Joey Badasses, right? And so there is now a new dichotomy right. where you have these cats over here, and then over on this one, you have your, your Futures, you have your, um, you know, um, your Foolish Gambinos. And those guys, even though they can put a toe on being conscious, they're not quite your J. Cole's and your Kendrick Lamar's because everything that they do, even though the beat, even though the way that they um, deliver it is what are you doing? I mean, it's our what are you doing? Yeah. But it's my turn. Why do you have those slippers? Like Joey there? Badass's last album, oh, man, I must have listened to that thing like 10 yeah. times all the way through. Absol's album was like, oh my god. Absol is like, I gotta listen to it four or five you times. You have to, just to, to get like, it, right? Yeah, just to understand then, where it's going. That's with not it. even bringing like MF Doom into it. Yeah. Have you heard his new tracks? I've really got into MF Doom. Just all you gotta do is get with some of his early stuff. 35. I'm serious. MF Doom is so. Yo, and you know, there's him, no day, Quasimodo, no yeah. um, you know, um, Danger Mouse, of course, yeah. is in his stuff. Um, Lord Don't Quan. put that camera on me. There's, there's a couple of them in that clip, but his stuff, his delivery is like, it's kind of. It's just off the okay, delivery. Okay, look at this. But his references are like, man, I, I never saw people put those two things together. Right. Man, where can we hook up, man? Because I'm limited. Where can we hook up? Man, whenever. You know what I'm saying? I'm just talking about music all day. Man. Well, I mean, when I see, like, rough elbows with this stuff, not in my wildest That's 33 points. What are you talking about? Not in my wildest dreams. Yeah, I'll write it down. Nah, you know. <laughs> you're good at what you do. Because they don't, Thank you, yeah. people don't get down with people who ain't good with what they yeah. do. But it's just cool to like, you know, to meet like real musicians, you know what I mean? Like, people, and then like when you meet people, you be surprised. Like, like I remember when I first, like, when I met like Ty Dolla Sign, I remember I had like a preconceived notion of him. But like when we started like talking music, music with him, I was kind of like blown away. Like by his music mind, it's like all his family is musicians, so he's like... He's really like deep into it. Yeah. So like it made me like listen to his music differently and appreciate it more. You know, that's what yeah. my son was telling me about him. He was like, he had heard a um, it was high dollar sign and then it was also um ASAP Rocky. And he was like, you know, Dad, I saw these um, you know, just basically underground interviews with these cats, and I was like, I was listening to their music one way, but when I got insight to who the person was, it does, it puts a whole different spin on what they're delivering. And then, with the, you know, you kind of find out about who they are. It's dope, man. And even like a dude like Tyler, the creator, people are always like, dude, that's the other one. I, I watched his, uh, he got a documentary on YouTube where he's basically showing how he made his last album. Because I didn't know he produced everything. Like, I didn't he know produces that all his own stuff, like plays all his who own is this who, who is this that's that? Creator. Yeah, he plays Tyler all, all his show. own instruments, like everything. So it's like, of course, he, you know, he, he raps about wild stuff surface level, but when you really see like how much attention to detail he pays to, to his music, and then I go and listen to it, and I'm kind of like, like, man, like, he spent four hours on his vocal, that's like three seconds of the track, but he like, took that time to make sure it was right, you know what I mean? Like, I think he's one of the most slept on cats out there. Uh, his new album is amazing to me. It's just, just a... Just amazing. I'm gonna have to check it out because I haven't heard his new stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna definitely check it, it out. It's really good. And then just because it's more like this type of vibe. Yeah, I'm the top pick, my whole...
This is Dr. Summer in the studio with an awesome artist here. Uh, you heard a little bit of his music. What is your vision? Where do you see yourself the next year or so? Honestly, it's just me being more consistent. But uh, I, mean, I feel like I can make it, make it in the rap game. It ain't gonna be like, like easy, but I definitely got it. Like, I've been doing this for years. I just, you know, like, I never took it serious like that, but me and Diego, we've been cooking. Been cooking yeah. so it's your time to shine. I'm from Stockton. You know, it's your boy Rod Love. Uh, you stay tuned. You know what I'm saying? The new wave. We here. I, I just feel like I'm so diverse. Like, like none of my songs just sound the same. And that's just basically what I'm trying to bring to the music industry. And I just love music, so, you know, regardless if it's me being an artist or me managing an artist, you know, I'm just, I don't know, I just love music, so, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna get it, we're gonna get it. I mean, would you go on tour with someone? If you were to go on tour, who would, who, who would you go on tour with? Who would you go on tour with? I mean, you could leave all by yourself, but who would you go on tour with? I mean, it depends, like, I have to be I don't want to like right away sound like, oh yeah, I'll do it this person. Because like, people don't seem so to humble. be what they be. Yeah. Them, I guess. yeah. So, I know whoever I can be, whoever compliments my music, you know, like my style, you know, all that stuff, you know. It's too, I feel like it's too like, far ahead to kind of think. But I don't know, I'm ready for whatever. I'm ready. Like, I ain't been on the stage in so long, bro. Like, but I was young, like I look back and like I'm like, okay, maybe it was a reason why like I didn't make it when I was young. Cause it's like, bro, if you listen to like where the music is from where it was, you know, like um, I just think that's crazy. crazy. But all the music I have made, it's always been ahead of the game, so it's like I just need to start stop playing. Stop playing and keep dropping. Who's, well, who, who are some of your favorite artists that have, you know, molded your music? Uh, Wayne. <laughs> Wayne is the go. Little Wayne? Lil Weezy. Lil F Weezy. Baby. Nah, not F Baby no more, but <laughs> Lil Weezy. Tunchi. There you go. There you go. Um, who else? I mean, I don't know. I just, so, hey, so that's probably who he would be touring next, with. But though, is Drake. And yes. without Lil Wayne, there would be Yes. They the same. They the same you know, caliber, I guess. It's just Wayne had my childhood in a way up to high school, and Drake just got everything else. So that's what I see. Wayne. Where do you get your inspiration from to just keep doing this? I don't like honestly making music is art. I don't care what y'all say. Making music is art. Like. We're creating something out of nothing. Like, shout out to producers, because obviously yes. that's like majority of the song, you know. But being able to put words on a beat you know, like, and make music, make something like somebody can have a vibe to, energy, like all that stuff. Like, like, like music, music is, music is life. Imagine life with no music. It's not life. It, like, if I Even. just stay quiet, no music. <laughs> no, man, yeah. men have been beating drums since the beginning of time. Exactly. <laughs> music is life. That's true. A heartbeat, right? That's music. Yeah. Okay. Diego, you're awesome, too. You've worked uh, with I'm some greats. I'm not doing anything. Uh, He's a man. Right? I know. I'm just pressing buttons. Uh, <laughs> my job is to just not mess anything up. So yeah. when he comes in here and he does a track, just make sure to bring his vision to life. Make sure they're comfortable and in a good environment to create. Right, create, bro. That's the key word, create. That's why I love doing it. You get to create. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I'm an artist, so regardless, like, I, like I be thinking ahead, like, even like once I get big enough to start performing and all that stuff, like, I want to throw in a lot of live sets, you know, like, and switch up my music when I perform live, like, how they be doing on Saturday night live and stuff yeah. like that. Like, be able to have like live shit going on, like and just really it's just what I need to do, I need to put more time into it. 
because regardless, I salute to everybody that has made it in music so far, uh, all the young cats, everybody, you know. Uh, You're a young cat. I'm young too, but I'm <laughs> like, you know, just like 16. Like, oh, yes, you know, like, yes. Yeah, all the yes. little homies, you know so, Yeah. Like, they're doing it because they put their all into it, you know, and I'm not really putting my all into it because I'm working in LA, but I'm going to make that jump soon. Don't trip. Like, I don't really see myself working a regular job write it on a piece of paper make a vision board put right, that vision that. board in front of you yeah, and look right. at it every day it's just that it was that fear of like trying to make that jump like i'm about to make that jump are you spiritual All right, guys, I'm going to stop harassing this man. <laughs> You're going to love his music. He's going to go far. All right, guys. Thank you.